Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 8 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start adding the second floor. We added the furniture. Now we're going to continue working on this. So here I'm going to zoom here. And I'm just going to use my arrow key so that I could move it a little bit like that. Let's go to insert, load family, and then under furn furniture, let's go and add in some nightstand table. So I'm going to click open, CM, and then let's add it right about here. So I'm going to add it here as well. And then right after that, we're going to add in a table lamp. So go back to the main, go to lighting, architecture, and then internal. We have one of the lighting right here which is a table lamp. I'm going to try and add this. Click on open and then CM. Here I'm going to place it in the middle. But I want to see that actual height here. So let's add in a section so that we could see that. And then the and then we need to flip it to the other side and then double click here. And then we're going to use align tool so that we could align it perfectly right about there. And then let's move it a little bit up because this is something like that. Let's see if we could align it. There we go. Now if we check it, it's actually 762 offset to the host, which is level 2. So now, we could erase this and then go to level 2. And then here, if we select this one, if we type in CS, that's create similar, we could basically add this. And if you notice right here in the properties, it will adhere to the the numbers that you added right here as well. So now we're going to just add it in the middle of the table so that we could have a side table in our bedroom. Now we're going to press escape and then escape again. I'm going to add in our washer and dryer. So let's go to load family go back to the main and then go to specialty equipment domestic mid-range and then we have washer right here and then we have a washer dryer combo let's click open and then cm and let's add the washer and dryer right about here so in in north america newer houses now their washer and dryer is or their laundry room is at the second floor so the reason for that is obviously it's better to just um, do your laundry on the second floor instead of you going to the basement or whatever so here I'm gonna select this equipment and then edit type and then uncheck the show lab label apply and then OK I'm going also to add some storage right here so I'm gonna add a line there and then a dash line as well so now we have our laundry here 
actually what we could do is we can make it an L shape and then this one as well and we could just trim and extend TR trim and extend and then trim and extend right here so at least we'll be able to maximize um, the storage space right here so now that I'm happy with that we're going to right now add we could add some curtain wall so click on architecture click on wall and then right here under drop down curtain wall and then we're gonna add our windows so here I'm probably gonna add three windows so around 250 so I'm gonna delete that again and then click curtain wall again or the wall 250 enter and then another 250 for some reason I'm getting that so 250 enter and then here I'm just gonna add it on the side here and then I'm just going to delete this and nudge this one in place so in terms of exact dimension I'm just basically eyeballing this So I have this one and then I'm going to add a window right here as well and then a window here on this so I'm going to give it a nice big window and then also we're going to add a window right here make sure that your curtain wall is from the inside of the wall so what you can do is just click on spacebar to change orientation so here for example CS I'm gonna add a w window here so you can spacebar to just change orientation and then add it right there so now once you add everything we can click on modify and then click on cut that's cut geometry what you can do is you can select the wall and then the window or the curtain wall so select the wall first and then the curtain wall and then I'm probably gonna add a window here as well so select that CS and here I'm gonna flip it by clicking on spacebar and then I'm gonna add that click on cut geometry and then do it again so now that's good I just noticed that we haven't added the door here so I'm gonna select that one CS and I'm going to flip it on this way so I just noticed that seeing that something is wrong here and then I figure out that there's oh I forgot to put in the the door so now I'm just double checking everything we have the sliding door here we also have our thing here now let's go further and let's go to our 3d so go to your 3d and then here we're gonna set the height that we want so most of the time around negative 400 I'm happy with that and then after that AL align on all of them And then here if you want to multiple align you could just check that one so that we don't need to look for the base that we're gonna use just to make it simpler for everyone 
so now we're good you can uncheck that because right now we have different heights so here I know this is a washroom so I'm just gonna add it right there and then here this is I'm gonna do something right here to make it nice and then here I'm gonna pull it up and then I'm just going to use this align tool to just set all of them in the same height like that and then here what I'm planning to do is to add to add a balcony and also right here I want to add a balcony as well so my balcony here is going on this side and then here going on this side so now for the height on this side I'm gonna pull it up a little bit so I'm just gonna pull that pull that one a little bit up so I'm happy with this this one will be all the way in the floor and then now what I need to figure out or to uh, to finish off is to add the flooring so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to level 2 and add in the floor so go to architecture click on floor and then edit type duplicate this will be floor number three press ok edit and then let's change this the thickness will be to still 200 but this one i want my second floor wall or floor to be wood so i'm gonna choose one of this probably gonna choose mahogany click apply ok and then ok after that what I usually do is I'm gonna use my pick line and pick it from the inside from the inside so that it doesn't show onto our wall so that's one of the reason but this is just basically a design portion of the architecture so usually if you want to convert this one to to uh, construction drawing you need to put it in the core or in the middle of the wall most of the, most of the time the core is in the middle so now I'm gonna pick this one again and we need to go around here as well so the R trim and extend trim and extend at the corner and what I usually do first is to click on finish I want to make sure everything is good now and then here I'll probably just to do, do this now as well so that I don't need to go back again delete this we could just trim and extend and then SL here so to split this one TR trim and extend so now we're going we're probably just gonna going to extend this but for now I just want to click on finish to see what we've done so right now this is the lock that we're having nothing it's extending we're going to extend it now so we're probably going to extend this one all the way right here at the same time we're going to use that as a balcony so what we could do is we could go to our underlay click 
change down to level 1 and then let's edit the floor so let's try and get the floor edit boundary and then we're going to click on pick line so that we know how far we, we're going and then here delete this delete right here and then we could delete this TR trim and extend and then click finish and then let's look at it again so at least this one was moved and then we have this one now and then we could work on this so at least this one is closed we just need to worry about the, the look of that so if you if you see or if we change this this is wood but basically we need to we could do is we could split face so that we don't need to add another one but we're probably gonna going to do that after we do do this one as well because we're going to use the same floor to extend it here so now I'm going to do is going to give this one all right about 1000 so just 1000 and then I'm gonna use this line and then I'm gonna create a line right here so that we could go around and then trim TR trim this one and then trim this one so now everything is proper uh, we're probably going to push this back because it's outside so that it's not showing on the wall click on finish and then let's look at it at 3d so now it's looking like this now uh, what we could do now is to change this materials so at the top right here we're going to paint this one as let's use laminate just to change the materials from that here as well and then here that's something that it's not visible anyway because we're going to change that but basically I just want to, to remove anything from there after that uh, we're going to change this material as well because obviously you're not gonna push the materials from here and and to be exposed to elements so what we could do is we could go here to level 2 and we're going to click on split face under modify and then after that we're gonna select this face once you select the face click on line and then here we're going to change this materials from here click finish and then again we're gonna select that again or we could just click on face split face and we're going to change the materials on this face so now we're going to use this we're going to go around and then right here and then click on finish so now we could add a paint on those area and then it will be changed to a different um, material so I'm gonna select that and then let's use anything concrete that we have so I'm gonna use concrete precast and then select that and then select here 
so now at least we change it I'm happy with that so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below